addictions topic show my name is joe i'm your host for today and i am here today with mr uh, jamie c coco welcome jamie Hi, joe. and today we are going to have a, a little presentation for you with a very special guest aside from jamie <laughs> but first of all i would like to um introduce jamie and talk a little bit about who he is and uh, where he's from and what he does so jamie welcome would you like to talk, talk a little bit about uh, your story yeah, hi Joe, thank you. Um, yeah, my name is James Coco. Um, I'm, uh, I live in Long Beach. I grew up uh, back east um, in a little town in uh, Vermont. But uh, I've been out in California now for about six years. Um, like I said, I live in Long Beach. I've been down there for about three years. We were in Redondo Beach before that. And um, yeah, that's kind of, kind, of, kind of a little bit about my background, where I'm from and that sort of thing. Oh, good. Well, welcome. And um, are you also in recovery? Uh, I am, Joe, yes. Um, my sober date is April 15th of 2013. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm very proud of um, my journey and where I'm at now and what I've overcome. And it's been a rough road, um, you know, up until that point. But, um, you know, I, uh, back in, back in 2013, I, I uh, reached out for help mm -hmm. um, at a place very similar to, to Lighthouse here. And... Um, you know, I uh, got my second win and a second chance at life, you know, and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm loving, loving recovery right now. You know, it's a, it's a wonderful thing. Good. And you are also the owner of a company named <clears throat> uh, Serenity Dogs. And I have one of your coworkers here with me, right? <laughs> You, we, we did. We brought my uh, my star employee here. He's uh, well, my, we, my only employee, actually. Should we bring him out? I don't know. He's a little shy. Does he want to come out? Jack, do you want to come out, bud? Jack. Jack, come here. Come here, buddy. Watch out for the wires. Watch out for the wires, buddy. Come over here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, so this this, this is Jack. Come Can here, buddy. Can you see him on the camera? Sit. Sit, buddy. Hi, Jack. Can we see him on the camera? Okay, beautiful. So um, I just wanted to introduce Jack. Jack is the, uh, the star, <laughs> aside from Jamie, on Serenity Do in Serenity Dogs. Um, you want to tell us a little bit about how you and Jack got together and a little bit about his background he, and his training? Yeah, um, so Jack is a, um, he's a three-year-old Labrador Retriever. Beautiful dog. He's um, a DEA certified uh, oh, wow. narcotics detection dog. Um, I've been working with him for about, about a year now. He's been trained for about, um, probably about a year, almost two years now he's been trained. And... Um, I came into, um, I worked for another facility um, uh, over a year ago, mm -hmm. um, and they um, are no longer um, um, in business, so um, I acquired Jack, and mm -hmm. you know, he was, he's such a well-trained dog, and um, I, I had learned to be his handler um, even before uh, we left that company, and um, so when they let me go, um, you know, with the other employees, I just decided to, um, you know, start a business with him. Um, I just think there's a huge need for it. Um, he, pro he provides, uh, I mean, it's really about providing safety for the clients of the, of the facilities we search. Yeah. You know, it's not, um, as you can see, he's not a aggressive dog. He's very laid, laid back. Um, he's got a great um, personality, but mostly he, he can find um, narcotics, which is really the, the, the uh, you know, the foundation of what we do is keeping narcotics out of the facility so sure. clients can focus on, on uh, <laughs> Jack doesn't like flies. So I'm going to point out something very obvious. Um, when we hear about drug detection dogs, we immediately think of policemen. Um, and uh, their dogs are typically, what are they, G German Shepherds? Yeah, German, German Shepherds and, and uh, Belgian Malawas are usually the, um, the go-to for police departments. Yeah, um, and Jack is not a German Shepherd No, <laughs> Jack's, um, like I said, a Labrador Retriever. Uh -huh. He's um. He was, um, he was actually trained by a guy up here in um, Anaheim, actually, okay. uh, Andy Falco, at Falco Canine Academy. Um, he's one of the best, best trainers in the country. And, um, you know, when, when we approached um, when the, the company I was with, when we decided to bring, start this um, um, canine, canine program, mm -hmm. I was really adamant about not getting a German Shepherd. And nothing, right. nothing against German Shepherds out there. I, I have nothing against them. They're great dogs. Um, but they can be a little scary. They're a little yeah. bit, they're, they're very um, intimidating. Intimidating. They're yeah. go, go, go. They're not, yeah. they're a little um, temperamental. Um, Labradors, um, I think, are a little less assuming. They, they, ha they have the, a very similar um, 
smell, smelling abilities as, as uh, German Shepherds. They may not have the, the work ethic that German Shepherds do, mm -hmm. but um, they can smell just as good. Um, and I wanted to be able to come into facilities and um, not scare the clients. And, and, right. you know, and, um, and I wanted the clients to be able to interact with him and pet him. And um, but I think he provides a, a therapeutic layer to, right. um, to treatment. Um, I think a lot of clients see a dog and they, you know, they're reminded of home and maybe yeah. just they, they kind of get a, uh, a pause and just kind of realize that things are going to be okay. Um, yeah. I see that effect a lot with, um, with Jack. And uh, so, I, you know, I, just kind of going back to what you said, I mean, there are other people out there that do this, um, but they are either usually current uh, police officers or former police officers. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they come in, they, they don't really know what's going on. They come in sometimes with tactical gear on. And right. that's really not the, you know, that's not the look we we're going for. We really want to just um, come in, um, let the clients know that we're not there to get them in trouble. Yeah. And when we find stuff, we don't call the police. Yeah. Um, we, we, oh, we, we, let the we let the facility, they can deal with it however they want. And um, that was the big thing. You know, a lot of these clients are, um, you know, they're paying a lot of money to go to these places and um, they really haven't done anything wrong. They have a disease. Yeah. Um, and we don't, we don't want to get them in trouble. Um, we just want them to, you know, um, focus on getting their lives back without right. the, um, you know, the uh, temptations of uh, narcotics in the facility. That's something I, you know, I've been to a couple of facilities myself. And, you know, when you're early in recovery, you don't quite have the constitution yet to really resist. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if something's right in front of you, you know, yeah, it's, not, it's not fair, you know. And um, so we just, we, we, we're really adamant on, on, on uh, making sure that the clients are, have the best chance to, um, you know, have long-term sustainable recovery. So it sounds to me that he plays a really important role in keeping the community safe, first and foremost, by making sure there are no drugs or paraphernalia or um, narcotics on on campus. That's it. Well, I mean, yeah, Joe, I mean, that's that's really what it, um, it all comes down to. I mean, the, the places we've worked with, um, we worked with a, a bunch of different um, facilities here in Southern California. And the relapses and ACA rates have, you know, they like, literally they fall off the table when, yeah. when Jack's um, searching on a, on a re repetitive basis, you know. Because when, of the fact that the clients feel more secure and confident I, in where they're I think they're so. At. Yeah, uh, and absolutely. also I think there's a little, in the back of their mind, they're like, all right, well, this facility is not messing around and yeah, they're taking it seriously true. and yeah. they're not, they're, they're less prone to, um, you know, to, you know, to mess up like that. So, um but that, you know, that's, that's, I mean, we see it all the time. Um, I mean, we, we go to places where they have, you know, a rash of relapses and when Jack starts searching um, on a continual basis, you know, some places we go to, you know, they'll call me if they have a problem and we'll go one time Yeah. and that, that's cool and that, and that works and he'll, he'll find the narcotics if they're there. But his, his greatest value is when we go on, rep on repetition because the clients continually see him mm -hmm. and they know at any time, you know, Jack could show up and, you know. As much as they all love him, um, they they know that you know Jack, you know, will find stuff they have. It, so yeah, absolutely. So I think that we can do a little demonstration now to see uh, what Jack really does. So actually, before we we um, went live, I took Jack on a little walk, and while we were out on our little walk, Jamie hid some goodies around <laughs> yeah. around our little staging area. So we're gonna have a little demonstration to see where exactly Jamie hid those little goodies. Not goodies, yeah, but it's and just, just so you know, because um, people always ask this question, we don't use live narcotics okay. for, for training. Okay. Um, we use like little cotton cotton balls that are stored with live narcotics. Ah, uh, I see, okay, perfect. Which I don't have. Um, <laughs> I, okay. The guy that trains them actually, you know, he has a, a license to, to possess them, so he provides the cotton cotton so it's just, right. it's just kind of a safety thing for him so all right let's go let me move this real quick should right. we move this yeah go ahead okay, okay i'm gonna go outside real quick okay get, get do his, what you gotta do should i stand anywhere okay let's go Okay, so just, just so you know, so he'll, when he finds something, he'll sit and he'll look, look at me for the ball. That's, that's my indication I know that he, that he alerts on something. So we've done uh, three different hides in this room and the next room. So um, we'll see how he does here. He's a little camera shy, so we'll see how he does here. Okay? Jack, sit by. Ready? Come on, search. Right here, Florida. That's where I put one of them. 
Find it? Huh? Where is Aww. it? Where is it? The boy. The boy. The boy, buddy. The boy. The boy. The boy. No, no. I think I just found another one too. So. <clears throat> So that's what I did there. This is a little canister with some cotton in it. So we're gonna, I'm going to go back and reset him. And uh, why do you want to, should we go and see if we can find the mm -hmm. one in there? Mm -hmm. Do you want to maybe head down that, towards the uh, copier there? Oh, are you calling me? <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the White House. Sir? No, we already got there, bud. Come on, push in there. Did you get it, buddy? Uh, One more time. Where is it? Where is it? Good boy. Good job. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Um, yeah, so Jack is, um, th this little, this, this was, um, heroin actually, and that's, that's obviously the, the most important one. Yeah, with, with the current climate right now, um, in recovery. It's yeah, It's mostly, mostly heroin, uh, abuse. So, heroin's his biggest, you know, number one, um, he can also, um, he can find, um, meth. Oh, wow. Cocaine, mm -hmm. weed, 
oxy, um, oxycodone. Oh wow! Um, it's pretty thorough, actually. And uh, um, Xanax. Uh, Xanax? Um, no. What, what's, yeah, what's that family? Um, ben Benzos. Benzos. Yeah. Okay. And strangely enough, he actually about two weeks ago he found a stash of um, Suboxone, which was weird. So I don't, I, and I I don't think he was trained for that. So I'm gonna say Suboxone too. Okay. And how do we find out more about Serenity Dogs? Um, probably the easiest thing. I'm still trying to get my web page going, but it, you know, on Facebook I have a very easy to find page. It's called, it's called Serenity Dogs. Serenity, obviously, that's a little. Um, shout out to recovery and my personal um, experience in um, AA. That's kind of my uh, little, little thing. So it's Serenity Dogs uh, at, in Facebook. Um, so definitely check out his Facebook page, Serenity Dogs. Like it, follow it, give Jack and Jamie a shout out. Yeah, that'd be great. I, um, we're always looking for, for, for work and um, Jack's ready to work. He does all the work. I, I just drive him around. So. Okay, well, it looks like he loves you very much, and he's very happy doing his job. I think he needs some treats after I this. I know. <laughs> so we're just going to wrap it up. I just want to ask you one last question. Sure. What, do you have anything, any advice that you'd like to say to um, somebody who's currently struggling with addiction? Somebody currently struggling with addiction? Um, I guess I would tell that person what I wish someone would have told me when I was struggling, is that, uh, that there's hope. and. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be the way it is. That darkness that you're in, um, there's a there's a solution to it, and there's a, a very bright and vibrant world out there. Beautiful. Uh, but you have to go out and find it. All right. Well, thank you so much for thank coming. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate you having thank me. Thank you, Jack. I know you're tired. Um, and yeah, see you guys next Thursday. We're here every Thursday at 3 p.m. Facebook.com/slash